Welcome back to Anatomy and Physiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In the next few videos, we're going to be talking about uh, the muscles of the thigh. We'll be talking about the knee extensors, the knee flexors, eventually get into the adductor muscles. But before we do that, it's helpful to actually understand how these muscles in the thigh are actually divided functionally. And by function, I mean their actions, okay? And of course, some of them might have some other actions, but we're talking about general functions. And they're divided as such. And the divisions are actually due to these structures called intermuscular septa. Uh, we'll explain what those are and the interconnecting deep fascia, okay? So here's a general view cross-section of the thigh. Uh, these muscles over here, these are the anterior muscles. These are actually going to be the quadriceps femori. And these are just going to be knee extensors. Okay? We can see the division down here. This is the medial part or medial muscles. These tend to be hip adductors. And then back here, the posterior muscles. These are going to be knee flexors and hip extensors. And these, of course, are the hamstrings. Now, if you look um, at the borders right here of the thigh, we actually have three septa. So septum is singular, septa is plural. This one over here is called the medial intermuscular septum. Down here, we have the posterior intermuscular septum. And then over here, laterally, we have the lateral intermuscular septum. And notice that each septum is connected by this extension of the deep fascia. And so really it's this fascia that's actually dividing up these muscles into compartments. And if you learn anything about fascia or deep fascia, one thing you should know is that it compartmentalizes different muscle groups, muscle groups that tend to have one common action or function. Okay, So anterior, knee extensors, medial, hip adductors, and posterior would be knee flexors slash hip extensors, okay? So we're gonna take another look at this. Uh, here in the anterior part in red, we have quadriceps femori. These are our knee extensors. Now medial's flipped, it's actually over on this side this time. In blue, we have our medial compartment. This would be the hip adductors. And then in the back and posterior in green, we have the knee flexors or hip extensors. And these are the hamstring muscles. And again, we can see those uh, intermuscular septa. So over here, this is the lateral side now. This would be the lateral intermuscular septum. Over here, this is medial now. This would be the medial intermuscular septum. Um, and we'd actually have one over here, which is not shown in this picture, but it would be the posterior intermuscular septum. And also there would be the fascia that actually separate uh, the medial compartment from the posterior compartment. And in addition to functional compartmentalization of these muscles based on their action, uh, the other nice thing about this is it tends to divide them based on nerve supply as well. So it turns out that in general, the quadricep femori muscle group is innervated by the femoral nerve. Okay? And then this medial compartment where we have the hip adductors, the adductor group, these tend to be innervated by the obturator nerve. And then these posterior muscles, the hamstrings, they would be innervated mostly by the sacral nerve. And there are a few exceptions. For example, um, there's some other uh, pieces of the femoral nerve that might innervate a little bit of the adductor muscles. But generally speaking, and we're being very general, okay, the functional division of these muscles by the intermuscular septa and the fascia is not just on the action of the muscles, but also the tendency is based on the nerve supply. Okay, So hopefully this figure is helpful for helping you kind of get the general nerve supply for each of these three regions of muscles. Okay, So hopefully this made sense, and please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In the next videos, we will actually be discussing the various muscle groups of the thigh. We're going to begin with the knee extensors, We'll talk about a couple other muscles there. Then we're going to move into the hip adductors, and then eventually we'll see the knee flexors.